my mom always says she says that no matter how expensive bread gets people are gonna buy it and in lagos bread is um it's a staple it's consumed by a lot of people in different varieties there are different like tiers of i guess bread quality but sort of like at the at the bottom tier is a gege bread and bottom doesn't necessarily mean like the worst kind of bread because the bread is delicious but just maybe the the least pricey bread um so a gege bread as a motif is is where is like the starting point of some of the work that i'm doing here The thing that has been interesting to me for the last, I don't know how many years, is economics and, and finance. So when I think about bread, um, you know, we're coming out of a pandemic, but we're still in the pandemic. We're also, well, we're always in the midst of some geo geopolitical conflict, but the one that is sort of on everybody's consciousness because of the news media and also, I guess, because of the gravity of the situation is the conflict between Ukraine and, and Russia. And that has impacted commodity prices. But even before then, because of the um, pandemic, commodity prices were under pressure from supply chain um, disruptions. In Nigeria, um, some of these commodities see pressures because of, uh, you know, geopolitical, uh, or I guess I would say geoeconomic realities. And so because of high interest rates and uh, and the need to maybe reserve um, or to preserve the, the dollar in the Nigerian economy. There are things that happen like um, import bans. And so some goods are targeted and you can't bring them into the country because they want to stimulate local production and all that shit. So all of that to say is that bread, which is made from wheat, wheat which is a commodity is a totem in a way of um, our economic system these are the things that i'm thinking about when i when i think about bread and so how do i um what do i want to use the bread to do how do i um think about bread as an object uh i guess as an art object now but even to dismiss the premise of what is an art object but think of bread as uh as a site of you know, control conflict, um, global monetary systems, all of that. And so, yeah, these are the, the questions that I've been considering during my, my residency. What is the potential for any sort of art specifically um, one that is consumable, technically spread. What is the potential for any sort of art to really pierce and uh, trouble the um, material reality of folks who are distanced, who are distanced by technology or distanced by experience? I, I think the potential is, it is limitless. Because we don't know, but we know the power of food, right, to transform, and the power of art to transform in various different ways. And so there's no fast rule. Even watching you bake, it's it takes time, right? It takes a lot of care and thought, right? A lot of hands-on, right? And I think of that as a is a is a almost like a literal translation of of life and what we need to care for one another. And this gets back to this residency and the care and the integrity and the love that we put into the work that we do here. And I think we need more of that. And I think through the work that you do Tunde, it is extremely powerful. And I know you're working through things not only as an artist, but it's an extension of who you are. And so your lived experience, and you're sharing that with us through your, your, your baking and your making 
and creativity. This stuff does not happen overnight to change, right? Mm -hmm. To change in a very meaningful way. So the work that you do really, it really matters and it is powerful and it does have an impact. I think the, the premise that I've outlined is like around the bread, around consumption and production, but really around the global financial system and how it disproportionately impacts black folks, folks on the continent, uh, brown folks, folks from the so-called third world, indigenous folks, um, women. Those notions that, that the bread carries, I want to um, concretize in some sort of tangible way that folks can interact with. So I think for me, the, this, the, the, the time at Alma Lewis has been about showing what the concept feels like, you know? So how can I take this concept and how can I just make it more tangible to people? I've settled on a, a couple of configurations. One is this sort of like cage. Another is a, a performance where I'm, um, selling the bread on the street, which is, you know, a common practice in Lagos uh, and I'm sure in other places around the world, which is just like street vending. Um, so we're doing that here. So how, uh, you know, moving what is foreign and bringing it into a place that uh, has been normalized as, um, as the standard. But yeah, those are, those are sort of the things that I'm thinking about